Three public hearings drew hundreds of Round Rock ISD parents and students thanks to a plan that would rezone several middle schools in that district. School leaders heard pleas from parents, and tonight they will get a look at a revised plan. As KXAN's Gigi Barnett explains, some students will still have to attend a new school next year. Longtime neighbors Seth Bonacari and Heather Clark heard about Round Rock ISD's plan last month to rezone a handful of middle schools. The move would alleviate severe overcrowding at their neighborhood school and shift dozens of students to Round Rock's brand new middle school set to open in the fall. They wanted no part of it and asked for students in the Sam Bass Corridor of Round Rock to stay put at Walsh, Chisholm Trail, and Cedar Valley Middle Schools. Well, the district agreed. And tonight, it will unveil a revised plan to rezone other schools instead. It's really exciting that they've, you know, taken the time to, to hear our input and to, to listen to the citizens. Uh, we were really concerned initially that that may not be taken into account. So this revised plan is, uh, I guess, makes us all really, really happy. Bonacari and Clark had some help. Nearly 1,200 students, parents, and community members showed up at three public hearings in the last month. Their top concerns, make sure schools are economically diverse, keep neighborhood students at the same schools, and maintain safe bus routes. And what about the overcrowding? Well, parents say that problem takes care of itself. As students age out of Walsh, um, it will just naturally decline. And so within just a few years, we're going to be at or below capacity. But the district says someone has to go to its new middle school next year. So the new plan will move some students at Forest North Elementary and children who live in Northwoods at Avery Ranch subdivision. School leaders say this is the better plan. We understand that there are some families who will not like this boundary plan. Um, it's just a challenge to make. There is no way to make a plan where everybody is, is happy when you're talking about middle schools in a district of our size. School leaders will see the new plan for the first time tonight at their board meeting and then vote on the measure next month. I'm Gigi Barnett, KXAN News.